Hello everyone, I am Dr. Akanksha Anup, Consultant Radiation Oncology here at Narayana Hospital, Arun Tagore Hospital, Mukundapur. So today I will be giving you a brief introduction regarding our machine Versa HD. So this is the couch of the patient where the patient is supposed to lie down. This is he or she who climbs from these stairs. This is the treatment couch where she will be lying down. This is made for breast patients and also for few other cancers. So this is a vacuum bag that is created. It is individualized like every patient has his own bag which is made in the CT scan which we do before giving radiation therapy. So and this uh, bag is used for every sitting. It will continue for 15 or 25 sittings whichever the patient is planned for. Along with this few markings are done by our uh, radiation therapy technologists to um, uh, make sure that we are able to give a perfect match as we had planned in the CT. So we keep this in the table couch, we place it here and then we ask the patient to climb and she lies down in this place. So uh, our radiation therapist here will show you how the couch is going to move inside. This is the treatment area. So the field that we want to treat for a breast patient, that is a breast, it needs to come just below the gantry, that is the treatment head. So now he has placed it and as we help and we mobilize, immobilize the patient with the help of few lasers, once their matching is done, I will just show you how he moves the gantry, how it moves around the patient and how the treatment is given. So the couch stays still. The patient has to lie down in this position for 5 to 10 minutes and the treatment is done by rotating the gantry head which is also known as the treatment head. So as you see this gantry head is not going to touch or harm the patient in any way. She is lying way down below. This head is not going to touch even if something comes in its way the treatment stops as it is. So now when the treatment has been done the gantry will return back to its normal position and he is now going to move the couch out. So the couch needs to be out from this gantry so while the patient is getting up they don't collide with the head. Now she is free to walk and go back. So this is one of the breast patient setup. Another one uh, we'll assemble and show you. So as you can see this is another setup for breast patient. Okay, this is known as the breast board. So the patient comes here, she sits here, she has to place her head in this headrest and then she has to lie down. This is a more tilted uh, uh, breast board that we use for certain indications, for certain techniques. And once she has put her head here, her breasts are exposed, she has to hold these rods with her hands. The hands are supposed to be kept at the back of her head. So the right hand here and the left hand here. Again, the we make sure that the treatment field, it comes just beneath your gantry head. And now with this, he will show you how he rotates the gantry. So as you see, even if the gantry head is this close to this breast port, it is not going to touch the hand or the breast of the patient. She is going to be at a distance. If that happens, treatment stops. Okay, so the, now when the treatment is done, the gantry head or the treatment head will move back to its routine position. All this that he is doing from here is done from the outside. It is computerized. So remotely, all these operations, they are done behind from the console. And we can monitor each and every movement of the patient as well as the machine with the cameras that are placed inside the room. So once the treatment is done, again the couch is moved back and then the patient is asked to uh, get up and then she can dress herself and go back to her waiting area. So uh, next we will show you another important immobilization that is used for the head neck or the neuro patients. So now for the head neck or the neuro patient, 
we have a mold uh, which is again subjective and individualized for every patient it is a plastic mold which we make at the time of ct before giving radiation so this is this type of mold uh, once purchased from the pharmacy is put into a hot water bath and where we place it in the face of the patient and we mold it as per his face so this is the exact impression of the face and the chest and the neck if you can see these bones we make it like this it's an exact replica of his face so once a head neck patient comes here he keeps his head in this position he lies down the radiation therapists and the oncologist they place this mask above the patient's head and we clamp it here so basically we fix the mask over here and we make sure that this is the way that the position is of the patient this is done to minimize the motion that the patient may have if we don't do this if he even moves a millimeter the radiation will go to a different place than that we have planned so this mask is made tight to the face of the patient so that he cannot move breathing is not hampered because a big nose gap is made for this patient he can breathe uh, freely from this nose piece so again with this he will show you he will move the gantry head and similarly there is not going to be any touching or any hurt to the patient in this position if he has any difficulty he is free to move his right or left hand and wave it to us in one of the cameras then we stop the treatment and we can approach him so now when the patient's treatment is done again the gantry will move back to its normal position and after this we pull these clamps and slowly release the mask from the face of the patient after the mask is removed the patient can sit up and again then go back to the waiting room so for neuro and for head neck we use these plastic masks now for rest of the cancer sites whether it be gynae prostate uh, uh, a different form is used immobilization devices are not so specific some of us can prefer using that vacuum bag or making a similar plastic mold in the pelvic region or others can also prefer by just using a headrest and a knee rest that will be shown basic thing we give a bladder protocol to all these patients in which we are treating the pelvic region so that we can prevent some of the bowel toxicity so this is the same headrest a head headrest that had been used for the patient and this is the knee rest so the patient lies down over here and his knee joint is kept over here so he has to lie down the knee joint is placed we give a curvature to the spine we maintain the curvature of the spine and that is how all the pelvic patients get treated so now when the pelvic region is in just below the gantry head the treatment area he will rotate the gantry and show how the treatment is being done so now once the treatment is done the patient scouch is moved out of the treatment field and then he and he or she can get up and this knee rest is also removed from the place so that he can get up freely and then he can go back to the waiting room so as you saw this radiation treatment is safe and effective there is no harm that is done to the patient the gantry does not touch or hurt the patient in fact if it does it can stop the treatment at any point of time the patient just has to come with the required instructions that is given by the radiation therapist he he or she just has to lie down in this couch rest all is taken care by the radiation therapist till the treatment is done all that the patient is has to make sure is that he doesn't get up he or she doesn't move and lie still in that position for whatever time the treatment goes on thank you